What is she doing there? to call you this late. There's something I just want to confirm, if that's okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks anyway. Not that one either. Isabella, you know the house rules here. Rebecca, you're late! Yeah, I ran into a little trouble at the cafe. But I brought food for the two of us, if you haven't eaten anything yet.
Yeah, I... Maybe later. I've gotta finish this first. Just leave it here. I'll eat it once I'm done. Thanks, Becca. You can't eat this here. You know how the landlady would react. Why are you even walking outside? Your room's right there. I, I know. Sorry. It just feels stuffy in my apartment right now. I'll go back inside once everything's been aired out. I promise. That has never bothered you before. Well, it bothers me now. Oh, really? Just now? I find that hard to believe. Yeah? Sh shouldn't you be happy? I mean, you've been complaining even if it's not your room. Now I know how you're feeling when it's messy, so I'm going to clean. Isn't that a good thing? <sighs> it's a good thing, Isabella. Believe me. But you're as bad as Zachary at lying. What's really going on? Isabella, you can tell me. I listened to that one time, didn't I? Is it about your family? Rose? Come on, I know something happened. I don't know if it's because of Rose, but I know it's related to her somehow. You weren't here when I visited this morning, and both Zachary and Ashton are worried about you. If you don't want to tell them, you can tell me. Does it have something to do with work? Office? office? Boss passed me all of Rose's lore load yesterday. For the Ermengarde mansion. I had to stay late to finish them all. And then... And then... When I was about to go home, I saw her. I saw her again! She was standing in front of me again last night, Becca. I couldn't get away. She was... She was blocking the door! If I hadn't hidden myself, even if I made the tiniest noise, if she found me... Becca, she almost did! If she saw me under my table, I... I think that would have been the end of it. I'm scared. I'm so scared I won't be able to do anything!
You should have called me. <laughs> There? I can't do that! What will you do? Hit her with a book? You'll be dead before that happens! And... That isn't what I'm talking about. After... After you got out, you should have phoned me. You didn't have to go to Zachary's. Oh, yeah, sorry. I don't even remember how I ended up in Zack's place. I was in a hurry to get out of the office, and it was already late. Besides, I don't really think you'll believe me if I wake you up over something like that. That's beside the point. True or not, there are people who will always be concerned about you. There's Zachary. But he's the first person you went to, and you didn't tell him anything. You just slept there. There's... there's Ashton too, and me. But how do you think I'll be able to explain to your aunt or your family if you suddenly disappeared? Think about that. Right, right. I'll remember that next time. Mom! I told you not to call me that. How many times have I told you girls not to loiter around the hallway? It's noisy. Some people here are trying to sleep. Quiet down or go do your talking inside. I'm pinning a memo to your door the next time this happens. <sighs> Millennials. Sorry, we won't do it again. You'd better. Becca, I'll... I'll find a way out of this. You guys don't have to worry about me. Anyways, I should go. I'll see you later. Where are you going? Getting myself some food. Don't wait for me.
like an ugly premonition. Oh, you know, a few problems popping up here and there that the agents failed to tell us somehow. I think a few hired hands can't fix, of course. I would have preferred a place near the city and something that's new to save us all the trouble, but darling wife insisted. Ah, <sighs> who am I to say no? Ah, oh, are you kidding me? What an ass. I shouldn't have volunteered.
What are you doing? What does it look like? You're surprisingly slow on the uptake with someone of your profession, aren't you? Uh, bloody, doesn't this school have people for this kind of work? <laughs> so much for being a center of academic excellence. I am going to ignore that slight to my alma mater and my work, because that's not what I'm trying to get at. You know what? Why don't we just rephrase that to something you'll easily understand? Why exactly are you doing this? Well, you look like you could use a bit of help. Have you seen your face while you were heaving this around? Mister, I'm pretty sure if there's ever a look on my face, it's entirely because I saw something extremely unpleasant this morning. <laughs> aren't you a ball of sunshine today, Daisy? Having a bad day, aren't we? Oh, you have no idea. I'd put it away if I were you. You might scare the children. You don't have to worry about that. This isn't my department. I was just asked to bring these. Anyway, I can handle this myself, mister. The room's just right over there. Behind you, in fact. Now, if you could please move over and make way, it would do the whole world some good. Don't worry, Miss Pink. Tio is strong. You can leave this to him. My papa does it lots of times, but I'm not allowed to talk about it to anyone. Tio says it's confi... Confide... <laughs> Confidential, Munchkin. That's right! Tio's smart, isn't he, Miss Pink? I'm sure he is, Kylie, but I'm also sure he'll find better use for it elsewhere. Like helping you out? Oh, well, that's one thing, but... <laughs> you heard the kid. No one's asking you. You wound me, woman. And I'm quite certain I can do more damage than that. Shall we give it a try? Again? that threats never work on me, Daisy. Not in a million years, not ever. You're assuming it's a threat. How cute. But th that too, I'm not scared of you. Just because you landed a hit. Oh, do go on, keep telling yourself that. It was a fluke, you hear? I was caught off guard and your damn book left a dent! If I end up in a hospital because of what you did, I'm sending the chief of Luxburg police after you, woman! You don't say. Just give me that bloody box. Kylie, did your Tio eat something bad before coming here? He's unusually nice today. He 
noises. But I made him promise to be extra nice to you since you helped me so much. I think you're going to be great friends. Are you sure it's not something he ate during breakfast? I gave him some jelly babies this morning. He really brought me lots of them. Mama said I should share, so I offered half of it to Tia when he picked me up. He likes the black ones. Oh, that's probably why he's weird. Jelly baby overdose. Do you want some? I've got more! I couldn't play Melody or Takako this morning, but I'm sure it'll be fine sharing some of it with you. No, I'm not really very fond of them. I was just asking. Oh, where's your mom, by the way? Out of town with Papa. Weren't they informed of career day beforehand? Yeah, I told them all about it. Mama was looking forward to it. And they still left? Uh-huh. It's important business, so it can't be helped. They promised to tell me about it when they come back tomorrow, though. Papa said he'll give me a gift if I behave. I've been a good girl, right, Miss Pink? You always are. But they asked that douche, I mean, they asked your Tio to look after you? For this? Nope, they didn't. No? Then how? It was supposed to be Tia. Mama likes her better than Tio, so she asked her, but she's sick and had to visit the doctor today. Oh, that's supposed to be a secret, by the way. Oh, but I think it's a bit confusing because Tio said she also went shopping. That's unfair. Don't you think so, Miss Pink? Mama doesn't allow me to go out when I'm sick. It's still okay, though, since Tio always buys me sweets before we go home. I'm gonna ask for a parfait today. Extra large! Don't tell Takako, okay? everyone first. It's gonna be great! No one else has a gazillionaire fairy godfather. Also, also, when I grow up, I'm gonna be exactly like him and marry someone really handsome. Like Tia did! That way, I can be awesome too! Munchkin, sweetie, trust me. You don't have to marry someone for that to happen. I don't? <laughs> Just do your thing, darling. I'm quite sure you can do great things on your own without lugging around an extra baggage with you. Tia married you. Yeah, I... <laughs> 
Well, that's... That's true, Munchkin, technically. But it's not the same thing. Listen here, sweetie. Tia... Tia was already a great person before she met me. She is? But I don't see her doing anything. She's always at home. Not always, Munchkin. Did you know she's really good at numbers? You're good with them, too. You helped me with my homework once. Well, Tia's much, much better than me. She used to do maths with big numbers. Oh, like millions? <sighs> no. Gazillions. And she's really, really good at it. So much so that her dad let her manage anything that had to do with it. That was even before she met me, too. Does that mean she's better than you? Oh, leagues, Munchkin. Way, way better than I'll ever be. You know what? Why don't you ask Tia next time you have homework, hmm? Okay. Next time, I'll ask her to help out. See? No need to marry a good-for-nothing bloke. Can I also tell her to not stay at home anymore? If Tia's good at it, I'm sure she can help you out, too. I I'm Papa. He computes a lot of numbers, too. Tia can help him. <laughs> you go do that. I'm sure she'll love to hear it, Munchkin, even if it's been a while since. But off you go first. I think I saw your friend run off to the other classroom. The one with the pigtails? Go say hi to her. You still have those jelly babies to give her, yes? All right. But wait for me, okay? I've got loads more to show you. They put up my drawing on the bulletin the other day. I'm going to take you there later. I'll be back. <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? <laughs> Don't mind me. I just saw something surprising today. Don't let it bother you. You know, putting it like that won't make me any less inclined to ask. What is it, woman? If this is another one of your threats, I've already told you it isn't going to work on me. That good teacher act isn't going to fool anyone. What makes you think it has to do with you? I could have just remembered something funny. Not everything in this world revolves around you, mister. I am not daft, Daisy. It's on your face for all the world to see. Now, say it so we can be done with this stupid talk. <laughs>
Can't you act a wee bit polite for even a second of your life? It won't kill you. You'll easily get answers that way, you know? Instead of demanding things from people like a temperamental man-child. I'll be nice when I want to be, woman. Don't tell me what to do. And here I was just thinking how you're doing a brilliant job as Kylie's guardian. Was I mistaken? Was I mistaken? What? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Stop playing dumb. I hate to admit it, but you actually seem to be good with kids. Possibly even better than most of the teachers here. Hmm, what do you know? No. No? You should be proud of yourself. At least there's this one good thing about you. Isn't that nice to hear? Pretty sure not a lot of compliments get thrown around about you, knowing how you are. There are a lot of good things about me, Daisy. My hair, for one. There's also my extraordinary good looks. Wax lyrical about those all you want. I'd be happy to hear it any day. Praise anything about me but that. What is so repulsive about it? Even Kylie likes you. Shouldn't that tell you anything about yourself? Kylie is one kid, not even my own. Trust me, you do not want to see me bring a spawn of my own into this world. It'll be an abomination. Is that what you keep telling yourself? Maybe. Is it any of your business? No. But if I didn't know any better, I'd say this is because you yourself think you're a little piece of shite and somehow it'll pass on. It doesn't work like that, by the way. You're right. She deserves someone far better than me. You know, Luke, you're not such a bad person. 
Is that supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> I'm touched, Daisy. Take it how you will, but a little attitude change would help. A lot. Ah, oh, bollocks. Right, of course. Let me know when you're done with your lecture, ma'am. And you can probably start by not leaving your wife out while you're having some quality time with your goddaughter. Who knows? Maybe that'll help change how the child sees her. Where did you even get the idea I'm leaving my wife out? Have you ever even met? No, but I did see her with you two last time. What? When was this? At the cafe, after you left. She was sitting right beside you. Kylie was at the back and you were driving. Daisy, are you sure you haven't accidentally hit yourself with your own book? Because that damn thing's quite thick, and I'm really getting worried about you. It has only been a few days, and concussions can be dangerous. I suggest you have that checked. Well, you asked. I just answered. It's pretty rude to make her wait like that, by the way. How can I make her wait when she's not even with us? What? It was just Kylie and I that night. Now you're just pulling my leg. <sighs> Wifey was out with Kylie's mummy that night. She wasn't with us. How do you think I ended up on babysitting duty? But... It, in the front seat. And Kylie's... <laughs> Miss Pink! Alright, Kylie. Calm down. What happened? It, it's my friend! That's a little too vague, Munchkin. Let her speak, Luke. Who is it, Kylie? Melody? Or was it the other one? Yeah. Did the two of you fight? Sweetie, I won't be able to help you if you don't tell me what happened. <laughs> I wanted to give her the rest of the jelly babies, but she won't come out. Where? Where is she? In the little girl's room. Is she still there? She won't say what's wrong. I kept asking her, but she told me to go away. Career day's going to start soon. I saw the prices Miss Alice will give us up for good. She's gonna miss it. Is that what you told her? Yeah, she won't listen. She won't even take the jelly babies. After he saved it for her, too. She and Luke wanted to eat the red ones, but I told him it's not for him. Miss Pink, can you talk to her? Tell her to come out. And I'm really upset with her. Okay, tell me where she is, sweetie.
Make my body go. Make my body's hot.